Well, hello there. Today, guys, well, first of all, you know it's me, Mr. Plumber. Um, but today, we're gonna talk about the effects of colliding air masses. And what I have here in front of me <clears throat> is called, what is it called? Convection tubes. Yes, these are called convection tubes. And uh, they're a perfect way to model the way that uh, colliding air masses, what, what happens when those two different types of air masses come together. So over here we have, uh, in this convection tube, we have a candle. And in this one, we have some dirty ice water, but ice water nonetheless. And what these uh, two different sides are gonna represent, the candle will represent hot, dry air. And you guess it, this ice water over here will represent cold, moist air. What's going to happen when those two collide? Make a prediction. Pause the video and we'll come back with the lights off and we're going to put some smoke in there to represent how the air, because you can't see the air, right? Not really. So we're going to put some smoke in the air so you can see how we develop an air current between these two convection tubes. So pause the video. We'll be all right, so we are back now. I got the lights turned off. I've zoomed in a little bit. And right here I got this little guy, it's called a punk stick. And it puts off a little bit of smoke so we can see the air. Now the only way we can see the air is if I turn on this handy dandy flashlight. So I'm gonna stick this first in the cold side and see, I'm gonna stick it right here into this tube here and see if we get any reaction. See if you can see that smoke I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. What's happening? Is the smoke going up? Doesn't look like it. Looks like the smoke is just staying down. Okay. Now we've put our punk stick on the other side with the candle. Let's zoom in a little bit here. I'm gonna move our flashlight over. What is happening now? Now that we've noticed the smoke is going all the way up to the top on the side with the candle. It's rising up. Just like hot air does, it rises up. Okay, so what I've just done now is I've put my punk stick and my flashlight in the cold side here, as you guys can tell at the very top. And it's slowly, I'm gonna zoom in, it's slowly moving down. And if you look over here in our little tube, our little connection tube, opening here. If you look over here, you'll start to see smoke is rising out of the cold side and coming over to the hot side. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm going to zoom out now, but you can really see the smoke. You can see that air, that smoke, just traveling down, traveling down towards the cold. And as it gets in here, it slowly moves across and gets sucked up. And as you can see on this side, smoke is coming out of the top. So what happened here? How can we explain this? Why is there smoke now coming out of the hot side? Well, like I said in our text and in our notes, this is almost like a sea breeze or a land breeze, right? Where the warm air is rising and what's replacing it? That cold air, cold moist air in this case, is swooping in and taking its place as fast as it can. All right, guys. 
that is all I got for you. That is my example of the effects of colliding air masses. Uh, tune in next time. Like and subscribe. This is Mr. Plumber. I'm out of here.